The Zika outbreak has entered a dangerous new phase today with the first confirmed transmission of the virus inside the United States. Texas health officials say it likely happened through sexual contact, not a mosquito bite. A person in Dallas was infected by a partner who had been to Venezuela, one of the countries where Zika is an epidemic. This is a game changer. What we've been looking at is mosquito to human then human come to the United States and then the mosquitoes bite them and that starts the transmission. Now it's a game changer. We're talking about sexually transmitted uh, virus, the Zika virus, and that is a, a concern as we go forward since 80% of the individuals don't have any symptoms. Wow. Mm, scary stuff. Our Dr. John Lapook is in Recife, Brazil, with a response at ground zero in the global emergency. John, good morning. Good morning. This city's health commissioner told me, though Zika infection is rampant here, sexual transmission of the virus has not yet been documented. It's felt to be spread mostly by mosquitoes and, of course, is suspected of causing a devastating birth defect, which is why pregnant women are so concerned. 30-year-old Silvania Borges is pregnant with her fourth child. Are you worried for your baby? She said she is worried, but she's had no obvious symptoms of Zika. Across Brazil, cases of microcephaly now total over 4,000. Several hundred suspected and confirmed cases reported just last week. Recife is the epicenter of an explosion of microcephaly, an abnormally small head at birth linked to Zika. Government workers go door to door adding chemicals to water and spraying pesticides in order to attack the mosquitoes' breeding grounds. There were a lot more mosquitoes in January of 2015 than in November of 2015. Dr. Jailson Correa took us to the Situation Room inside Recife's Health Department, where the city of 1.6 million is charting the infections. This is all Recife. This is all Recife. Wow, yeah. so that's a lot of cases. A lot of cases, yes. The Health Department estimates between 50 and 100,000 people have been exposed. 80% of the time, those infected with Zika don't feel sick. What do you think when you see these babies with microcephaly and you know that you're pregnant? She's worried about the threat of infection because it's a very critical situation. It's really heartbreaking. Dr. Correa told us this historically impoverished community needs to find a solution to an epidemic which threatens an entire generation. These children will be surviving. The impact in their families it cannot be measured at this stage. Apart from the scientific and the public health persona, I think as human beings, we really feel the need to do something about it. The health commissioner told me they carefully tracked the mosquito population here, and there's been a dramatic drop over the past year, which makes them hopeful that perhaps they'll start to see a drop in the number of cases of microcephaly. Charlie? Dr. John LaPook in Brazil.